big spot here for the former undisputed UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya, and he's not too emotionally attached to a lot of these results. I expect a big effort out of him here tonight. You know, John, I love that you teed it up that way because I was just thinking that for a guy that seemed to be on a rocket ship to the moon, becoming a middleweight champion, he handles adversity as well as anyone I've ever seen. When he lost to Jan Kohovic when he tries to become a double champion, still even keel. When he lost his championship, even keel. I believe that ability will allow for him to work his way back to a championship opportunity where I expect him to be very competitive and possibly earn himself the belt back. And skill for skill, there are a lot of people that still believe he's the best middleweight in the world. A lot of the elite 185 pounders believe that Izzy and not necessarily Pareda represent the toughest matchup for them. We'll see how Adesanya fares in this critical matchup for tonight. Folks, you know who he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion. This man has run roughshod through one of the deepest divisions in the UFC, and he is showing no signs of slowing down. He ain't slowing down, John. He, he loves the ability to call himself the champ. A smile is on his face every time somebody goes, hey, champ, how you doing? The guy lives for it. He lives for the adulation. He lives for the applause. He lives for the ability to stay in the spotlight. He will fight to defend his title as if his life depended on it. Huge training camp for him. He feels like he has leveled up in a lot of disciplines of mixed martial arts. And man, if he presents an even better version, scary proposition for the challenge. All right, so the tension is palpable. Both fighters have placed the octagon ready to go here at the main Honda Center in the Big A Anaheim, California. Or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Israel, the last battle bender, Adesanya. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Sean Zerickman! Herb Dean, our referee Wait, for this right. one. Ready. Good. Well, if you talk to Israel Adesanya, he'll tell you, I don't force the finish, I like to let it come to me, and that is certainly what happened in his UFC debut. But one thing to keep an eye out for is the takedown defense, because everybody is shooting at those legs of Adesanya, and more often than not, they haven't been able to keep him down consistently. So Adesanya has worked hard on that realm of his game, and let's see if the takedown defense holds up yet again tonight. There's that counter game of Israel Adesanya in full effect early in this fight. He's so long, and he does such a great job of seeing and picking up reads of when you're going to attack. The moment you enter, Izzy hits you with those counter shots, and he really makes you pay for trying to engage him in the fight. Oh, great block there. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing his body tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Oh, nice. All right, 
right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body start, but starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagons. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Oh, beautiful job with the hands there by Israel Adesanya. When you focus too much on the kicks, that's what happens. You get cracked with that Adesanya right hand. Three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Trademark inside leg kick there by Adesanya. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful hook. Offense is on the menu tonight. Back and forth we go. Lock that punch. Under a minute now to go. Oh, this is it. Adesanya gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Push kick there to the body. Very fast leg kick lands for him. He landed another nice leg kick there. Adesanya's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, back to the stools for 60 seconds. That gives us a chance to re-rack some replays, including what we believe is the strike that caused the cut on his nose. Yeah, beautiful strike that lands, causes this cut, opens him up on the bridge of the nose. It's not a bad cut, but if he continues to go forward, his opponent is a sniper, Ready, and he's going to keep hitting Ready. him in that same spot. Ready. Move your head. Really choose the times in which you're going to advance to try to get to this guy. you got to be careful, though, because he is so good at picking the shot. Now, of course, it's hard to know the extent to which that has compromised his breathing, but that corner was fired up. They want him to be more de defensively sound as this fight continues. Oh, the kick landed. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Strickland's left calf starting to show signs of bruising. Don't want to take too many more of those. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, big right hand. Oh. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to. Two minutes to go in the round. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. And he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Oh, crippling knee to the body.
constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get that. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Israel Adesanya's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really open up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Front kick by Strickland. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here. In the oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, right hand. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. Shots raining down. Back and forth we go. That is it. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, five seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Sean. All right, so off the record, you'd like the champion to get it done tonight, and that is how it played out, and still UFC middleweight champion. Congratulations, Arnold. It makes you feel like you know what you're talking about, when in reality, you don't.